All right, in this video, we're looking at electromagnetic waves and various properties. So here's a situation where we have two waves with different frequencies. So wave one, remember frequency just basically means that you're gonna see more waves in a given amount of time if it's moving along. So if this wave's moving along, you're standing here. Here you're seeing 329 waves per second. This one, wave two, you're seeing 707. So that might even be, they must be closer together because in order to see more waves, if they're moving the same speed, they have to be closer together. So the question was, which one has a longer wavelength? Well, the one that has a lower frequency, these waves will be further apart than the one that has a higher frequency. So that's just a general rule that as wavelength goes up, frequency drops as long as the speed is unchanged, which in this case we'll assume. So the one with a longer wavelength is going to be wave one, the one with a shorter frequency. Here we're comparing energy, and the rule about energy is that energy is directly proportional to frequency. So if this wave has a frequency of 271, and this wave has a frequency of 767, it's higher, it takes more energy to generate the wave with the higher frequency. So the one with more energy is simply gonna be the one with a higher frequency, in this case, wave two. And here is same idea, which one has more energy? So what I like to do is think of it in terms of frequency. So the first wave has a wavelength of 420, and the second one is 698. So, oops, scratch that, it's further apart. So the second one has a bigger wavelength. So if it has a bigger wavelength, let's make it really obvious, that's a bigger wavelength. So these are further apart. So this wave clearly has a higher frequency. And if it has a higher frequency, it has a higher energy. So wave one will have more energy. So the one with closer, shorter wavelengths has more energy um, and is related to the frequency. All right, so now we're actually talking about specific electromagnetic radiation. So you really need to know the order here. Um, this is the lowest energy and this is the highest energy. And if you're having trouble, there's the song video. I is also um, on another page here. So there's a song to help you remember this. That's annoying, but it works. So from left to right, we have low energy and high energy. So which of these has the highest? So we're just looking at the options and the highest one of, of the options here are x-rays. So x-rays have the highest energy of this particular choice. These other ones all have lower energy. Infrared, yellow light, which is part of visible, and radio waves are all lower in energy. Here it's asking about which has the highest frequency, but remember frequency is just the same thing as energy as far as we're concerned. High frequency means high energy. So again, if this is low energy and this is high energy, the highest frequency is the one that's gonna be furthest to the right. So here's violet light, invisible. Here's yellow light, uh, infrared, and then microwave. So of our choices, violet light has the highest frequency and the highest energy. Um, and again, this is sort of the way we do it. This one's asking for the longest wavelengths. Remember, if the wavelength is long, the frequency is low. So it's basically asking which one has the lowest frequency. And remember, low frequency basically means low energy. So which of these has the lowest energy of our choices? So here's micro, here's green, here's gamma, here's UV. So microwaves have the lowest energy of these choices, which means the longest wavelength. So that's the thought process that you do going through this. Um, again, frequency and energy are basically the same, and wavelength is the opposite of the other two. But you do definitely need to know this order, and I, I recommend watching that song again until you get that sort of down. So until next time, I am Derek Chinova. Have a delightful day.